From our evolving knowledge of the physical world comes the realization that change is constant. We see change in our understanding of the universe, change in our understanding of the mechanics of life. Nowhere is change more evident than in the field of interventional cardiology, where our knowledge has been applied to create the cipher sirolimus eluting coronary stent. As the first drug eluting stent, the cipher stent was a breakthrough. It has been proven in the most challenging drug eluting stent trials to date, involving the largest number of patients over the longest period of time. The same proven technology has been refined to provide even better deliverability to treat a broader range of patients and more complex lesions. Called Cypher Select, this advanced new generation drug eluting stent has elongated flex segments for improved flexibility and conformability. And with an outstanding new delivery system, Cypher Select ensures better deliverability, better trackability, better pushability and better crossability. Historically, restenosis has proved to be the major limitation in as many as one in three stenting procedures. With conventional stents, slight damage sustained to the arterial wall triggers the release of growth factors and inflammatory mediators. This stimulates smooth muscle cell growth and results in restenosis. With cipher stents, this process is inhibited. With its unique combination of drug, polymer and closed cell stent design, the cipher sirolimus eluting stent has achieved an unprecedented reduction in restenosis rates compared to a bare metal control. Scientists at Cordis selected sirolimus from hundreds of compounds for its safety profile, broad therapeutic window and importantly, its unique inhibitory effect on smooth muscle cell growth, the major cause of restenosis. Sirolimus inhibits a key regulatory enzyme, so proliferating smooth muscle cells remain healthy and viable, returning to a resting state. This cytostatic mechanism of action avoids tissue necrosis and arterial damage. The controlled release biocompatible polymer matrix ensures consistent, controlled and complete delivery of sirolimus over the critical first weeks. And sirolimus doesn't interfere with the regrowth of endothelial cells, allowing a natural non-thrombogenic surface to cover the stent. All clinical trials to date with the cipher stent have demonstrated remarkable inhibition of restenosis. The first double-blind, randomized, controlled trial of a drug eluting stent was the Ravel study. 238 patients with de novo lesions were recruited. And after six months, an unprecedented 0% restenosis was seen with the cipher stent compared with 26.6% in the control arm. At three-year follow-up, the cumulative event-free survival rate from TLR was 95% in the sirolimus group versus 85.6% in the control group. The pivotal US study Sirius has also demonstrated the outstanding safety and efficacy of the cipher sirolimus eluting coronary stent in a more complex population. Of the 1,058 patients involved, a quarter were diabetic and more than a quarter received overlapping stents. After two years, the event-free survival from TLR was 93.9% in the cipher stent group versus 78.1% in the control group. The new Sirius data pulled from the European E-Sirius study and the Canadian C-Sirius study has proven the benefits of the cipher stent in a particularly challenging population. In these complex patients, the cipher group achieved a remarkable 82% reduction in TLR after one year. In the words of one investigator, 
Cypher will certainly transform the landscape of interventional vascular medicine for years to come. This is especially true for subgroups of patients historically at high risk of restenosis, like diabetic patients, long lesions, small vessels, and instant restenosis, where the cypher stent demonstrated superior outcomes. In the diabetes study, the cypher stent achieved an impressive 84% reduction in the incidence of instant restenosis compared with control after nine months. The population of diabetic patients studied, around one-third of which were insulin-dependent, had a rather small average reference vessel diameter of 2.33 mm and an average lesion length of 15 mm. Nevertheless, the nine-month incidence of TLR was only 7.5% with the cipher, compared with 31.3% in the control group. Striking results were also obtained in the Svelte study, where cipher implantation in small vessels of between 2.25 and 2.75 mm in diameter led to a 12-month TLR rate of just 3%, this was compared with a historically matched cohort from the Sirius study control arm. A recent independent study has also demonstrated the excellent efficacy of cipher in the treatment of long lesions greater than 28 mm in length, compared with a paclitaxel eluting stent and a bare metal stent. After six months, the cipher group demonstrated a significantly lower late loss and incidence of restenosis than either of the other two groups. This led to a very low seven-month TLR rate of 2.7% with cipher. The CE mark approval for the treatment of instant restenosis reflects the benefit of cipher stent implantation in this very challenging subgroup as highlighted by the tropical study. After six months, the rate of TLR was only 2.5%, compared with 14% in the historical brachytherapy groups of the Gamma 1 and 2 studies. Results from the ISA Desire study also show the significant clinical benefit of cipher in the treatment of instant restenosis over and above that of plain balloon angioplasty and paclitaxel eluting stent implantation. Feasibility data from the SICTO study provides preliminary evidence of the value of cipher in the treatment of chronic total occlusions. In the real world, eCypher, the largest single registry of a drug eluting stent, provides evidence that the excellent results achieved in clinical studies can be reproduced in everyday clinical practice. Six-month follow-up data has demonstrated an exceptionally low TLR rate of 1.3% and a MACE rate of 3.1% despite many patients with a high clinical risk profile such as diabetes and multivessel disease. And with a cipher stent, four-year clinical follow-up in the First in Man study has demonstrated that vessel patency is preserved in the long term. A better outcome means a better quality of life. A new cipher select means they're more easily delivered. Change your thinking. Make your first intervention last.